day everyone! My name is Mr. Alex Michael Buribor and I am your teacher in Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. Today, we're all going to discuss about identifying local materials used in creating art with basis in our curriculum guide under the Contemporary Philippine Arts. Before we proceed with our lesson proper, may I invite you all to feel the presence of our God Almighty. Upon checking the list of participants for today's online lesson, I've checked that out of 57 students, we have 52 students who are currently attending the online class. Thank you very much for your active participation. Can you recall the things that we're able to discuss during our previous lessons? Yes, that is correct. These are about the techniques used in creating art. I'm going to show you some pictures and we'll ask you to guess what pictures are these. Here's our first picture. Can you now identify what particular material is this? Next. What particular material is this? And lastly, we have this one. Were you now able to guess what pictures are these? These are some products made from local materials in the Philippines. What local materials were used in these particular products? Here's the first picture. We have the basket. The next product we have is a slipper. And the third one is a bag. What are the local materials or objects used by the artist? Do these materials bring out the intended effect of the artist? If the artist had chosen other materials, do you think the same effect will be achieved? Why and how? If you are the artist, will you use the same materials or you will use another? Why? Material is what the artwork is made of. It can also be a combination of objects used in the artwork. Contemporary artists salvage materials that can be recycled and made into creative forms. They can make artworks that combine structure and mood and interact with the wind to make music. Some artists combine indigenous materials with textile and mount these on a painted flat surface. Paper as an art medium is also explored by artists. In outdoor sculpture, there is a lot of use of brass welded together and mounted on the Wood and glass are used for indoor sculpture. Found objects are combined and are covered with resin. Painting is no longer confined to canvas hung on the wall. They can also be found on ceilings and floors. Some are done outdoors. Many local artists lead the community or students in painting murals on walls to make a more pleasant environment and raise consciousness towards environmental protection. In architecture, there is an extensive use of glass and steel. Color combination is either complementary or strong contrasting, such as orange and blue, red and white. In performance art, artists use variety of props such as rope, plastic, textile, and found objects. Paint is also used in body art. Technology has also redefined art in many ways. Because of the usefulness of new materials to art making, artists have to upgrade their skills and learn the use of computer programs and its applications. Welding is also used for fabrication and building structure. This requires physical strength and special tools. 
Some materials have chemical components that are hazardous to the health, such as resin, acid, and fiberglass. The availability and variety of materials and the possibilities offered by technology expand the choices of artists. This is essential to the development of contemporary art. Local materials in the Philippines are materials that are naturally and locally found in a specific place. Here are some examples. Abaca belongs to banana family. Its fiber has a natural luster with colors ranging from pure white to ivory and dark brown. Eastern Visayas is the widest abaca supplier. The products that are commonly made out of this raw material are slippers, ropes, twine, hammock, frame, display jar, jars, and Chelsea chair. Next we have bakbak. Bakbak is the outermost covering of leaf sheath of the abaca stalk. It is a flat, thick, durable sheet as twine or braided. The strong brown fiber is used to make furniture. The products that are commonly made out of this material are mat, bangku ay beam, boxes, bin, display, jar, Cecilia dining table, and armchair. Next, we have the bamboo. Bamboo is a raw material used in creating many products. It is used in construction, textile, musical instruments, weapons, and many more. It is abundant in La Union, Pampanga, Capiz, Cebu, and Bukidnon. The products that are commonly used out of this material are the following. Kubi, Bungkaka, Tonggato, Anklo, Patete, and Gaba. Next, we have Buntal. Buntal is a cylindrically shaped fiber. The supple ivory white strands are quite durable, pliable, and have good dyeing. The most noted producers are the provinces of Bukol, Pangasinan, Marinduque, and Quezon. The products that are made out of this raw material are bags, shoes, desk accessories like pen holder, picture frames, file trays, wallets, placemats, braid, lampshades, and window blinds. We also have the buri. Buri is extracted from the matured leaves of buri palm. The fiber is durable and resistant to moisture. The products are hats, bags, baskets, memorabilia boxes, perfume tray, and other woven products. We also have the koir. Coir is the fibrous material surrounding the fruit of the coconut tree, which are abundant in Calabarzon, Northern Mindanao, and Davao region. The products are indoor or outdoor fiber carpets, wall covering, dormant, trellises, and geotextiles. Next, we have Nito. Nito is a plant belonging to the fern family that grows abundantly in the hinterlands of Mindanao. The products are bags, bread tray, lampshade, and decorative jar. Now we have pandan. Pandan is a tropical plant. It is processed and transformed into spins that are being used as raw material, which are abundant in Catlaraba in the Visayas. The products are baskets, hats, picture frames, and bags. Now we have rattan. Rattan belongs to the palm family. There are different types of rattan palms, such as high or low climbers, single stem or clustered rattan species. The products are baskets, picture frames, furniture, and other novelty items. Zoya lounge chair, Valencia queen size bed, and rest divan. Lastly, we have peacock. Peacock belongs to sea grasses. It is a native reed plant used as a raw material for mat weaving. The products are bags, decorative mats, humpers, newspaper wraps, table mat, waste beam, tower candle holder, and wall decor. Now we have learned about the different raw materials that are commonly used in the Philippines. They are abaca, bakbak, bamboo, buntal, buri, koir, nito, pandan, ratan, 
and Tico. Now I'm going to show you a video on how to create a certain product out of raw material. We're going to use Catan. Now you're able to know how to create a certain product out of raw material. Now it's your turn. I want you to choose a particular raw material that is ready-made available in your locality. And out of that material, you create your own product. Are you now ready to start? Make your own contemporary art using one type of local material that are available in your place. For example, if you want shells, there should be different kinds sizes, colors, and shapes of shells. If you choose dried leaves, there should be a variety of leaves. Cut bamboo sticks are also good to use if they are available. I am excited to check your output. Your output may be submitted during this schedule, distribution, and retrieval. And now for your evaluation. Observe your own community and identify at least five local materials and cite the products made out of these materials. You only have two minutes to answer this question. You may submit your answer through the Google Form link that is flashed on screen. Time is up for your evaluation. Now let's proceed to your assignment. For your assignment, you have to write a reflection on the importance of making use of localized materials in your life as art student in a short one paper. For rubrics, we have the content, 30%, organization of ideas, 30%, creativity, 20%, and neatness, 20%, for a total of 100%. You may submit the answer for this assignment through Google Classroom Submission Bing, Facebook Messenger, or through your compiled portfolio during distribution and retrieval. That ends our lesson for this day. I hope you're able to identify, show understanding, and able to discriminate among the various materials and techniques that are used in Philippine contemporary art. I will see you all again in our next lesson. Goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day.